Hey guys, welcome and or welcome back to my channel where the makeup and sass keeps you coming back for more. Today I just wanted to bring you guys this really fun, whimsical um, eyeshadow look. I was just having some fun playing around with the new Colored Rain Cheers to the Beauty palette, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So first I'm just going to start off by priming my eyelids with my e.l.f. primer. And I'm just going to rub that all over my eyelids with my fingertips. And then after that, I'm going to apply my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Laying Low. I love doing this combination when I want a really, really smooth base. Because sometimes the paint pot can be too drying. So if you put like an eyelid primer under it, it goes down really smooth and gives you a really great base to work with. And to set that, I'm going to use Patrick's Powder. And I'm just going to lightly set that so our powders can stick to it. Now here's the Cheers to the Beauty palette. This palette it is absolutely gorgeous and I was so excited to play with it first I'm gonna go in with that shade powder room um, just so that I can put all over my lid um, it doesn't really show up it's just like a nice color that I wanted as a base for us to use um, since we're gonna be doing kind of something weird and crazy for this eye look next I'm gonna go in with that shade called raise a glass to put that into our crease as our first transition color that we're going to be using for the day. This is a really nice kind of mauve uh, color. I really, really like this. And this palette, the formula is just as good as the Queen of Hearts palette. Um, although I do think this one may have more shimmers and it also has that highlight color. Um, which I wasn't really too impressed with because I thought it was a little too light, but we'll just talk about that later on. I'm still putting that shade on in my crease. Next, I move on to this other shade called Debonair, and it's kind of like a deeper red. And I take a smaller brush to focus that on the outer third or outer V of my eye. As you can see there, I'm kind of just placing it with that brush. And then later on, I'm going to use a more fluffy brush to blend that out into the desired, um, you know, shade that I want it to be. I just don't want it to be too strong and I obviously want it to be really nicely blended out. And there I go using that original brush that we used with um, Powder Room. There's no product on it. I'm just brushing or blending out those edges so that it looks really nice and flawless. And then I take an even smaller brush that's fluffy to really get the blend that I want because the other one was just a little too big and not as detailed for my liking. Next, going in with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer, I'm going to cut my crease. I have been really into like this half cut crease look, especially for me because I have really small eyes and I think that it really helps my eyes like look bigger. But you know, if you're not into it, you can do whatever you want to do with your lid. I'm going in with this shade Iconic in the um, front part of the cut crease and then I'm going to put the shade Diamond Jubilee on top of it just because I felt like Iconic was a little too like ugh, for this look and I wanted Diamond Jubilee to really make it like diamondy and brighter which it definitely did and going in with that smaller brush I am using Debonair to really blend out the edges with the shimmer shades. So this is what our eyes should look like for now. We're going to move on to the rest of the face before we go back to the eyes. I'm going to start off with the ColourPop Priming Spray. I have it in the scent Amethyst. And then I'm going to use my Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer to prime my face. I may have used just a little bit too much, but you know, you just blend it into your face. And for foundation, I'm going to take the NYX Total Drop Foundation in the shade Mocha. I like this foundation a lot. It is like very lightweight and very skin-like. I think I did do a review on this and I will link it up above for you guys to check it out um, to see like my full thoughts and opinions on it. To conceal, I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Deep Golden. I have been absolutely in love with this concealer lately ever since I got it. And especially since Tarte pulled that ish, I've just been using this instead and it's like the best Ever. I'm just blending that out with my Morphe sponge. This is another product that I've actually been using a bit more than I thought I was going to use. I absolutely love this one that looks like a beauty blender with like an angled butt. 
Um, I think it looks, I think it works better than the other one that they have that's like a weird shape. I don't like that one at all. And then just to brighten it up a little bit, I did go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I forgot what shade it's in, but it's a really light shade. And then I'm going to set that again with my Patrick's Powder. I'm going to set all the places that I um, put concealer on so that they don't budge or go anywhere. And then I'm also going to set the rest of my face because y'all know I got to set this face because it's oily AF. Then going in with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Deep, I'm going to just lightly run that all over my face so that, you know, it looks really nice. Now this is a difficult part, guys. We're going into eyeliner. Um, this is me doing my eyeliner. It takes me quite a while. I'm using the ColourPop Gel Eyeliner in the shade Swerve. And now we're going to wing it out. If you're not good with a wing you don't have to do this part but this is how we're going to add the really cool little glitter liner i want to have a black base before i add on the glittery part this did take me quite a while to do guys like this is the shortened version um in my waterline i'm going to use this color pop eyeliner called show me just a nice little golden eyeliner to make our eyes look bigger and then I'm going to run that shade debonair underneath my lash line as well so that the whole look is cohesive. For the glitter liner, I'm just dabbing that glitter onto the wing liner as much as possible until I build it up to the intensity that I want it to be. And voila, we have our glitter wing liner. Moving on to contouring our cheekbones, I'm going to be using my NARS Contour Blush in the shade Gina. I'm so sad because this is all that's left. It's just like broken and finished. Oh my god, I need to buy a new one. I'm just going to run that, you know, the usual places you contour, right in my cheekbones. And then to bronze up, I'm going to be using this Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Maui Nights. This one is definitely a good bronzer for people of darker skin tone, especially if you're like around my skin tone or maybe darker. It could definitely work for you. And for blush, I just used that NARS contour, uh, NARS blush in the shade Ghouli. I did try to use this highlighter that came in the Cheers to the Beauty palette, but I just thought that it was a little too light for me, and it wasn't working out at all. Um, I end up not liking how it looks, and um, for the because I, I wanted to use it because it has like a pinky shade. But it wasn't giving me the pink that I wanted it to be, so I ended up going in with my Becca highlighter in the shade Amethyst Geode, and I ended up getting the, yeah, the highlight that I wanted. See, it's nice and pink and really reflective, and I also put it in my inner corner as well, just to tie the whole face together. To set my face, I'm going to be using this Bosha White Charcoal Spray. Just to quickly set my face, this does leave some like white dots on your face. So what I do is I just use a beauty blender to blend it in. For our lips today, I'm going to be using the NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks in the shade of Vintage. And the other shade is called Teas and Cookies that I put in the middle of it. To get a nice ombre pinky look that kind of goes with our eye look as well. This, guys, completes the look for today. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.